Hello everyone, my name is Zisado. Welcome to the Mix Up Kitchen. Today, I have a surprise for you. We are kicking. Ta da! So, this watermelon will model for me throughout the process step by step. To begin this cake, I baked two pans of 8 inches and one bowl of 8 inches vanilla cake dyed with red food coloring and dry fruit to represent the seeds. I leveled them with my ruler and shredded knife. Then I dyed my Swiss marine butter icing with red food coloring because when I fill this cake I want it to look like buttercream looking the same with the cake so that when we slice the water melon open you just see red and seeds like watermelon. As I fill the layers with red tinted buttercream I also speckle some dry fruits in the buttercream. In order to stack this watermelon cake, I started with one round cake, buttercream with dry fruits, another round cake, buttercream with dry fruits, another round cake, buttercream with dry fruits, and then the bowl cake on the top. I cut away all the crusts of the cake so that we'll just see red watermelon and white rind. So I just used my shredded knife to go round the cake and all the round cake to cut off the edges of the red cake. I crumb coated the watermelon cake and kept it in the fridge to chill. Brought it out and iced it one more time and took it back to the fridge again. I rolled out my white fondant and cover the cake and gently smooth it with my hands and cake smoother. To paint this cake, I use teal green, leaf green, a little bit of lemon yellow and added water and edible spirit to get the first light green surface of the watermelon. I went back to dipping my green and speckle the green color using my brush and all the round cake. Before then, I first made some stripes, then speckle it all the round cake.
I set the watermelon aside so that I can make the watermelon head with a little fondant. I sort of pushed it in my cake. and colored it with brown color. I let my watermelon dry a little. It was looking so beautiful. I am so proud of it. Then I sliced the watermelon and I, I was so happy when I see the red color popping and the dry fruits looking like seeds and the white fondant looking exactly like rind. It was so satisfying. So we come to the end of the session. This program will be coming to you weekly. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us on social media handles. See you next time.